I've got uh, T1 in the supply of there, and um, I had to take T2 and I brought it around through the uh, filter and I pushed it in through the filter there, put a little piece of tape on it so it wouldn't pop out. So we're gonna knock both these out with one try here. All right guys, uh, let's go ahead and go hot. Go ahead and I've got my, uh, my temperature probe here set up, my fill piece, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a temperature split. And I believe it was 35 to 65. Uh, guys, I don't know about you, but it's kind of hard for me to see that in there. So what I actually do is I'll take a picture of it and that way I can see it. But uh, as for the gas, I'm running at 3.4, 3.41. I'm not gonna monkey with that. I'm just gonna leave it away. All right, guys, we're still looking pretty dang on good. And I went ahead and let's go ahead and do our, uh, our temperature differential here, our split here. And it looks like we're running 79 on our return. Okay, guys, let's check out our supply. And I've been running anywhere from 141 to 142. I'm gonna call it 141. All right, guys, what you simply do is we figured out we had a 35 to 65 degree split there from our data plate. And what you do is you add your return temperature to it. And what should happen is your su supply, if it was running perfect, it would be dead center of this. But it looks like we're, we're within the perimeters this time. Yeah, we're at 141, so guys, I'm gonna call it on this one. All right, guys, let's do our temp. It looks like we're right at 75, gonna hover at let's 75. Let's see what our T2 is. 142. That's the number I've been looking for right there, guys. 141, come on, 140. Come on, 140. Come on, 140.